So as you guys probably already know, the American HSTVL is probably one of the best light tanks in War Thunder. And just recently with the major update, they buffed it even more by giving it an HE proxy round. This proxy round contains about one kilogram of explosive and has a fuse trigger radius of eight meters, making it one of the largest HE proxies in the game. It's so good, it's actually tempting to use this thing as an SPAA, not as a light tank in most of these top tier matches. Not to mention its IRST is godly. The shoal have overpressured me from the front of my barrel. That Dude, makes that sense. Uh, uh, my air to air missile. Uh, what? My crit, uh, the and of course you are a light tank, so you're actually really good at just intruding in the enemy's space, flanking them, and getting back into their back lines, and just destroying the crap out of them. And that's all possible due to the 1.5 second autoloader this thing has and its low visibility because of how small it actually is. This thing truly is a rat because with that 1.5 second autoloader, you have 276 millimeters of pen with an APF SDS round. Oh. Oh, come on, my lord, plate. Oh, come on! What the fuck? Light him up, boys. The funny thing is, most of the time, I didn't even play this thing like a light tank because it's actually extremely tanky. The way it's built, it's pretty much just a crewless turret because the commander gets domed and who needs him anyways. Also, since the autoloader is modeled in, it can actually tank a few rounds for you, which is nice. And as always, no armor is the best armor. I'm refusing to spend it. When the um, AV8C gonna come back with the AV8A, so. What? Love it. My 279 KD of 784 deaths and 2,000 kills. <laughs> As with any major vehicle, there are some major downsides that need to be considered. For the HST VL, the worst one by far is its ammo rack, because you only get access to 26 rounds, and you go through them quite quickly, so it does force you to play on points. Additionally, because of the size of the autoloader and the breach in the barrel, you end up getting domed there half the time and unable to fight back. Going on that same idea, you do have very light armor, so you can be 50 cal in some cases. But the most annoying part about the HST VL is the fact that its thermals are generation 1, meaning it's basically impossible to see anyone at distance. 